Hey everyone, this is Chuck here with MEC. In this video, I wanna talk about one of the most requested phone calls that we get for tech support. And that is, how do I get Wi-Fi to another detached building on my property, like a garage or a pole barn? There are two really amazing methods. And in this video, we're gonna highlight the concept of those and give you all of the information to get Wi-Fi where you want it the most. There is no better connection between a home and a detached building than an ethernet cable. Here on Amazon, we can see that they have a pre-made ethernet cable in very long links. This one specifically is designed to be outdoor and it says direct berry, but in my opinion, if you're gonna run a cable underground, you should always put it in some form of conduit. The basic premise is very simple. In your home, you have a router. One end of this ethernet cable goes in to the yellow LAN port of the router. Then you run it across your yard, bury it, put it in some conduit. Then in your barn, the other end is plugged into a mesh unit. Anything connected to the Wi-Fi of that mesh unit will have a great signal, just as good as if you were sitting right on your couch next to the router. That is the absolute best method for getting the main router in your house to a mesh unit in your pole barn using an ethernet cable. But sometimes there are situations where we can't run a cable or the distance between your house and your barn might be more than 300 foot. If that's the case, there's an alternate method that uses Wi-Fi. Here it is. We're gonna start in your house with the router again. Usually point-to-point -point wireless systems have a power over ethernet adapter, which provides power to the antenna that goes on the outside of your house. Then across your yard, as long as you have a good line of sight, some of these units can go for even a mile or more to the receiver, which is located on the barn. Inside the barn, we have another power over ethernet adapter, and then an ethernet cable that would go to one of our MEC mesh units. This is not as good of a connection as the ethernet cable, but it does provide you the convenience of wireless. And in my personal experience, I've gotten pretty fast speeds, upwards of three or 400 megabits per second in a configuration like this in really good conditions. I hope this information really helps you. And if you have some trouble finding a good handy person or IT person, definitely reach out to a local public service like a uh, council on aging or a library and even a good Google search will give you some great results. Remember, together our future is bright.